Hey pals, welcome back. I'm going to finish up the AFC West. It'll be the Raiders and the Chargers testing homemade bases that I've crafted three years ago to see how well they're holding up after all this time. Uh, so far, the results have been great. There's maybe two or three bases uh, that give me some concern. Uh, we're going to start with the Raiders. I'm going to try to fly through this. And uh, I knew this would take a while, but I didn't realize it was going to take this long. I might even, this will be the halfway point this evening. Okay. It's a little wobbly, isn't it? I can fix that with a prong adjustment. Of course, the motor is not consistent, and that's always going to be an issue. Okay, a little bouncy, but it is performing to spec, so we're going to leave it be, okay? Next. And again, with these linemen and linebacker figures, they're not going to be fast. They're not going to be true all the way down the field or anything like that. Uh, these are stronger than uh, some of the other bases. That's why they're beneath these particular figures. Okay, we got the front and rear prongs fighting with each other for dominance. As far as which direction to send the uh, figure, I don't think it's going to get much better than the way it is now with this figure. It is a little wobbly. Feels like probably at this point I was getting a little frustrated with my old game board. So the uh, overall quality of these bases may be lesser than others. But that said, these these Raiders perform well in gameplay. Just you know, I can fix that just by moving him back in the middle of the base, maybe. We'll see. Okay. It's getting a lot of bounce. I mean, I can flip the prongs back a little bit. That will slow it down. Which is fine for a lineman figure. All right, moving on. Look at the, the linebacker figures and the offensive tackles. Um, again, these are Raiders, if you haven't figured that out. It's a pretty decent result. Okay. And, uh, we'll only do two uh, squads tonight because... The, um, you know, all the off, off camera here, behind this screen, beneath the table, behind the screen, are all the uh, storage containers now with the electric football figures in them. So there's not a quick accessibility solution. Ah, that one's performing quite well. Okay. Why do I always do that? Why do I say, oh, it's great. Best base ever. Flop. Okay. And you can just hear the the, uh, the, the poor quality of the motor. I mean, that's just the way it is, Chappie. It's, it's a Tudor product, you see. If you're serious about electric football, you probably should upgrade, but it's going to cost you at least $200. Unless you pick one up for some basement builder. Okay, number 12. High hopes for this base. Yep, happy. Come 
when you purchase from a basement builder, you don't know what kind of quality you're going to get. There's no, there's no quality assurance. You are the quality assurance when it comes to basement building. And if there's a problem, well, depends on the individual whether you'll get satisfaction by either a refund or a, a better product. Yeah, you could see he was about to fall over back here on the 40. Ah, I really like the shape of these prongs. I don't want to mess with them. But that's not an acceptable result. That's better. And he could have something to do with that wow 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 deal with the motor right now. Rotary motors, it's kind of a crapshoot. And, you know, the Tudor motor is such poor quality anyway. I can't believe they get away with charging 300 to $400 for these things. Let me, re let me amend that. I can't believe you, the electric football players, bend over and pay that amount for these things. Wide receiver base. Okay. That's a result. Is the other wide out? You know, it hasn't even occurred to me to look at the lens to see. Okay, it's on camera. You can see what I'm doing. But just barely, huh? All right. Did you see that immediate change in direction? Extremely fast base, but wildly out of control. I would, at this stage, after all these years, I would sacrifice the speed for the reliability. And it is a trade-off, it seems like. Because that's unacceptable. Yeah, that's... That's not acceptable. I'm going to curl the prongs with my thumb. It will slow it down, but it should improve. And it might make the route squirrely, but it should improve the performance. And it did. Okay. drifts hard to the right. Well, not hard, but more to the right than I can sort of tolerate. That's actually better. Okay, we'll leave it as is. All right. Now the running backs. Here's number 34. I expect this to be an incredibly good base. Out to be a bitter disappointment. Certainly not tech mobile fast. That's better. Back the other way. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm getting a little more picky because I'm it's pretty it's I've been at this for a few hours now. I'm getting a little bitchy, a little tired. So um, I'll keep that in the true count as well. And number 32. That's what you would expect from that particular figure. The behavior of a base is completely different, headed one direction from the other. That's not a base issue. That is a, it's either a board issue or a motor issue. In my case, it's almost certainly a board, uh, motor issue. Okay. You, 
you just hear that wah 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 in the motor, that's not ideal. Uh, what you want is zzzz, like the old electric football games from the 60s and 70s and 80s. Uh, but they're just using really cheap technology now for these. If you want anything better, 200 bucks, bend over. See, I didn't even touch the uh, switch or the uh, dial, but it just decided to, to rev up on me. Alright, well, the bass is working. Again, I'm getting bitchy here, pals, so. Okay, looks like on my end, this is going to be a hiatus between the AFC and the NFC bass testing. Maybe that's just as well. Uh, that's it. Now we move on to the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Go ahead and get them all out of here. Line them up here. And once again, I'm seeing some of these, well, let me get closer to camera. Seeing some linemen and linebacker bases where the uh, prongs, the front prong seems to be flipped back too far. To where you're just riding on paper, that's going to make it a very slow base. Let's see how this one performs. This one's okay. This one's actually working pretty well. I don't like the position of this prong on this one. Let's see how it... Now, I may have done this on purpose. I just can't remember. Now, the last time I played with this team, it was fine. They were, I think they actually won. Of course, I think they played the Lions or something. Of course they won. center and yeah there's definitely an issue with the center's front prong i don't like how it's not symmetrical with the uh, rear prong i'm just going to go ahead and make it so that's all you got to do with these and again there are tutorials on how to craft these on my channel chaffee and for years now i've said if I can make these, anyone can make them. Well, no one's making them. Uh, of course, now that ITZ starter bases exist, you really don't have to. I mean, there's, there's a, there is a solution. It's it's not as expensive as paying a professional base tweaker to uh, uh, tweak some bases for you. But those starter bases do have a price, and it's not zero. So. All right, whereas these cost uh, a cereal box and a pack of index cards and some glue. That's about it. Now look at the front prong on that one. It's not symmetrical with the rear prong. I'm going to leave it at the way it is right now just to see what the deal is. If I'm not satisfied with the result, I now know exactly what to do. Okay. And I'm not. So we just kick it forward a little with, or, you know, just use my thumb to... Put that front prong a little forward so it's symmetrical with the rear prong. Hopefully we'll get a better result. That's ideal. Okay. So in theory, if a base, uh, if the prongs have the same sort of shape, that same sort of curled shape to them, if they're the same height, if they're both facing forward, in other words, if they're not glued cockeyed in any way on the bottom, and if they're cut straight across, that's, that's a bunch of different mitigating circumstances. If that's all perfect, then you're going to get a nice base like that Tom Brady base we saw last time, okay? But that all has to be perfect. It all has to be in line like that for that to happen. And that's a lot of variables. And if these were machine-tooled, uh, you would get a better result out of them. Die cut, I guess is the word I'm looking for. 
I don't have the technology or the tools to make that happen, much less the seed money for it. But, uh... Oh! Why is that on a linebacker? That's a running back base, right? Hell, that's a wide receiver base. I guess that's why. I suppose it's because of the drift. The left drift. Now, I can compensate for that a little, but probably not too much. I will say this, a linebacker figure that moves that quickly is going to fall over a lot. If it, when it smacks into another figure. But that's a good result. Okay. All right. Now, here's the quarterback figure. Also the holder and the middle linebacker. Uh, not symmetrical. Front and back. I expect this to be a rather slow base. Let's see if I'm right. I can improve it immediately. Yep. Okay. All I gotta do is that. Just with my thumb. Just trying to make the uh, angle of the base identical to that of the uh, rear prong. The front prong and rear prongs need to be identical. That was my point. And a result. Not the fastest base, but a nice route headed this direction. A slight drift to the re left headed this direction. Again, that's not a base issue. That's a board issue or uh, a motor issue. Okay? Okay. Next. Technical issues off screen. In fact, I'm going to take a moment to hydrate. I'm going to take a brief pause here. And since I stopped drinking sodas back last January or February, I find myself running out of steam much, much quicker. Uh, you know, the sugar from those sodas were uh, sort of fueling my energy levels, but it was also, you know, destroying my stomach lining. So, um, trade-off. Now, the tight end prongs here look fine without making any adjustments. So, the result. Gosh, I feel like the Raiders' bases are all a little squirrely compared to the Chargers' bases. But, regardless, all the Raiders' bases still work, so uh, we'll do the uh, wide receivers next, and safeties, defensive backs, slot receivers, it, it's all the same thing. Well, for short passes, that's fine. For a Hail Mary, that would be a disaster. Well, I'm talking about passing sticks. It doesn't matter with a triple threat quarterback or rolling dice for your passing. A little bouncy headed this way, closer to the motor on this guy. Uh, that's no good. That's not good for a wide receiver. Okay. Now he's drifting the other way, so we'll de exaggerate. The adjustment I made on the figure. It's alright. And again, it's not all about going straight down the middle. Uh, you, that's an unrealistic expectation for electric football bases. It's more about consistency and reliability. And when they bounce around and you don't really know where they're going, that's a problem. It's a very fast base, though. without even putting it on the field. That's not going to work properly because it's not aligned. The prongs aren't aligned with each other. That should be a little better. Okay? If you can even see. 
maybe you can't, but that's the shape you want with these. As far as I'm concerned, that's the shape you want with any bass. Um. Pretty good. This is a little slow for a wide receiver. I can take some of the curl out of the prongs. Remember, these also work with straight prongs with no curl in them whatsoever. They just, they're just a little more erratic, more like an invisibase strength cleat. Okay. Ah, superb. Okay, that's a win. That's a definite win. All right. Here's the running backs. That was impressive, wasn't it? Yeah, it seems like everything is pulling to the left headed this direction, and that's a, again, that's not a base issue. this way. Let's see if it pulls to the left this way now. Nope. Almost straight as an arrow headed that direction. So. Anticipate anomalies like that. Uh, I'm sure with a $200 motor beneath this thing it'd work a lot better, but I'm not paying that much for a motor. This hobby is already nickel and diamond us to death, which is why these exist, you know. Okay. And one more. Now that one's pulling to the left pretty significantly this way. I expect a, a loop to the left this way. Let's see if I'm right. Expectations defied again. Okay. Okay, well the base is fine. It's just I'm starting to get a little nonplussed by the irregularities in this motor. And I'm sure part of that is because I was anticipating to pick up a new motor for Christmas until I found out they're now $200 plus tax plus shipping. Which, uh... I don't care how good they are, that's outrageous. and close the uh, container. That's it, chappies. That's the entire AFC we've uh, tested. We're about halfway through the task at hand. Now, at, at this point, unfortunately, i got to lay this down for a while because uh, tomorrow plumbers will be here. There's some issues with plumbing. That's really all I can say because I don't understand it myself. But um, beyond that, uh, the slot car racing set will be here, and that will be my priority for however long it holds my interest. So... By the time you see this upload, I may have already filmed the rest of the uh, base testing for the NFC. Who knows? Who can say? I, I certainly don't. At this point, the Super Bowl hasn't even happened yet, so we, we don't know who won that yet. Uh, bold prediction, I think uh, I think the, the Chiefs are probably going to win it again. Uh, I would like for the 49ers to win it so the 49ers can say they've won another Super Bowl, but... Um, I think this might be the Chiefs' year to win it again. Now, if I'm wrong, fine. Like I said, I want the, uh, the 49ers, but uh, Mahomes is playing very, very well. I don't care if he's a little crybaby. He's playing extremely well. And, um, well, so is uh, Purdy. But, uh, again, I think it's probably going to be the Chiefs again. And Andy Reid is, is, is one of my favorite coaches anyway. Uh, and he's, he's, he's captured lightning in a bottle with... Uh, Mahomes and Kelsey, not so much that other receiver who keeps dropping passes. And uh, I don't want to talk about the uh, offside penalty because he was clearly offside. Uh, they wouldn't normally call that, I'll say that, but uh, he was totally offside. But And, you know, Mahomes throwing a fit over that. Uh, it's not that big a deal, Chappies. And as far as the uh, sideshow attached to the Chiefs this year, uh, 
I don't care so much about that. I wish they'd keep the camera on the field. That's all I'm going to say, all right? And not go up into the VIP section every time Travis Kelsey ties his damn shoes. But uh, I do think the Chiefs are probably the better of the two teams. Now, if the 49ers pull it off, I'll be happy just because they'll have won another Super Bowl. Uh, I'm not really rooting for either team, to be perfectly honest. I don't root for teams much anymore in, in the NFL. Uh, since I started you know, heavily playing electric football, it's a weird thing. I now treat the, the real sport as if it were one-to-one scale electric football, I think, in those terms. And um, sometimes, not, not very often, but sometimes I draw the conclusions before Romo Stradamus draws the conclusion about what a play is going to be, just looking at the formations and the, and the audibles and the positioning of the defense and that sort of thing. But Super Bowl prediction, which it could be three months after the Super Bowl before we even see this, uh, 23-16 Chiefs. Uh, that's my prediction. If the 49ers win, all's the better. Okay? So, until I'm able to get this out again, thanks so much for watching, chappies. And I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.